year five and six and a very warm welcome to our first edition of Transition TV which is coming to you live from our fabulous 21 bedroom student hotel on the Dallas South campus. Today we've got an action packed episode with an exclusive interview with the head of year seven, Mr. Clifford. I just want to say a huge thank you to all the primary schools who invited me in this half term and a special shout out because I promised I'd do it for year five and six at St. Teresa's and also to year five and six at Cock Croxteth Primary. Big thumbs up to you. It was lovely to come into your schools and to meet you socially distanced in person to tell you about some of the exciting things on offer at the Dallas Sal Academy. A huge thank you to parents and carers and pupils who attended our open evening and we've also had many many hits on our virtual open evening which is on our website so i'd like to encourage all parents carers pupils of year five and six to go on the dallas Al academy website and look at the virtual open evening where you'll be able to hear and see all the amazing opportunities which are on offer at the dallas Al academy we've got a very exciting couple of weeks ahead of us at the dallas Al academy as we lead into the season of christmas First of all, we'll be undertaking our annual Children in Need celebrations. It'll be a little bit different this year, obviously, because of social distancing, but we're still going to celebrate Children in Need and raise lots of money for young people who need it. We're also planning our pensioners party, which is a massive event every year at the Academy. We welcome in our local old folk and we give them a really good celebration. Sadly, this year will be much different, but we will be providing some socially distanced goodies and entertainment so people can enjoy a sense of festive cheer. We're also involved in the Movember initiative, which helps people who are currently suffering from illness. So as you can see, we're on an action-packed half term ahead, and it's great for us today to welcome our head of year seven, Mr. Clifford. So without any further ado, let's welcome Mr. Clifford. Hello, Mr. Clifford. Hello, Mr. Bennett. Cool. Mr. Clift is going to talk to you about our transition project, which begins now, basically, and what life is like for Year 7. If you've got any questions you'd like to ask Mr. Clifford, any comments or anything you'd like us to raise, please email me at the email address below, which is mbent at dlarcel.co.uk. So, Mr. Clifford, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and about your role as Head of Year 7? Well, myself, I've been here just under a year now, Mr. Bennett. Uh, I started the year seven or the head of the year seven role in September under quite challenging circumstances with everything going on in the world. But I think our current year sevens, myself and the school, I think we've done a brilliant job of getting everyone ready. They've came in safely, they've got into routines, and we're ready to kick on now in the next half term. Mr. Clifford, a lot of our parents and boys in year five and six are interested in coming to visit the school. Is a tour available for pupils and parents between now and July? Yeah, fives and six are always warmly welcome to come and see the, see the academy. Obviously, just get in touch with the school reception, myself, yourself, yeah. and we can book in a time and a place to make sure it's safe for them to come in and we can have everything ready for them to see. And obviously, ask any questions that you want to ask. Yeah, and of course, parents and pupils, you're always welcome here. And um, just email the school or Mr. Bennett at dlsl.co.uk and the email address is available at the bottom of the screen. We could do more, obviously, for the lads and bring them in and bring, in, bring them around the school, but the parents can sometimes have their own worries and any worries they've got should simply just get in touch with us, come and have a tour by themselves, come have a meeting with just, just us by themselves without, without their, with their child with them and we can, again, sort any answers to the questions that they need yeah. answered. I mean, parents come. Mr. Clifford, can you talk with our boys at school through some of the facilities we've got here? Right, so one of my big positives is the fact that we've got a swimming pool down towards the P area. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, Mr. Bennett, there's not many schools in the city or even in the region that have their own indoor swimming facility. No. So that for me is a really big bonus for our lads to be able to use. We've also got a gym which they can use. We've got huge sports fields they can use, but away from just PE, yeah. we have our own cooking rooms, art rooms, science, laborat science laboratories. You know, we've got so many, so much stuff which we can use, mm -hmm. not just in lessons, but extracurricular activities as well, which can really 
push on our lads and help them further. I mean, the extracurricular program for Year Seven is amazing, isn't it? And for all the school, you know, when the situation permits, we've got a fully functioning Jiu Jitsu dojo with yeah. white, yellow, green belts. We've got cadets, which Year Seven can access as they move into Year Eight. We've got chess clubs, science clubs. Mr. Clifford, can you tell us about the virtual transition program which ran in the summer term due to the COVID pandemic? We sent out some nice transition packs, okay. letting the year sevens know about what to expect when they come in. Certain members of staff who, who were in the school. They also got asked to do some mini autobiographies, so I got to know them before they even got in. So I got to know a lot of things about some of our boys, which is very nice to read. They also done some more about transition packs, about, about the, th the faith in the school, the ethos that we follow. So. That was a big part of our summer to try and get year seven ready, or I should say the year six is ready coming in. Because normally, in a normal year, we'd have lots of visits, we've had lots of days in, but unfortunately, that is just something we couldn't do this year, but it's something that we're looking forward to doing again. Moving forward as we move beyond the pandemic, do you think we'll be reintroducing those really exciting transitions? Yeah, 100%. I think, well, hopefully, we can get it done or get them brought in as fast as possible, but obviously, in a safe way because the more things we can do for our fives and sixes the more comfortable they are on their first day yeah. and we want them just to come and enjoy the first few weeks and settle into the routines making new friends and getting to know the teachers so hopefully the activities we can put on will hopefully come sooner rather than later yeah i mean we know don't we in the world of transition are happy children learn yeah how important were the mini autobiographies for you in getting to know those students for me personally i thought they were brilliant getting to see what some, of, what some of our pupils at the moment do, some of the activities they take up outside the school. So we had quite a few footballers, some bikers, some, some of our lads were more academic and they liked to tell me about what, what their favourite subjects were. So straight away when they came in, there was stuff that I knew about them and it was easy to have conversations and say, oh, you do this or you do that, instead of just coming in and being blank canvas, which could have, or if it were for yourself, Mr. Bennett, getting transition ready, could have really realistic happened. It wouldn't have been, as, better, as, as a good start as what we've, what we've had. So what really you're saying is that we knew when you knew your year group before they arrived in September? Yeah, and since then I've got to know them even better and it's lovely to have so many nice, polite boys in the school. And finally, Mr Clifford, can you please share with us your favourite comedian? Are you a joke? I'd say I'd really like listening to Michael McIntyre. I've seen him live a couple of times okay. and Lee Evans. But I think overall I'd probably go with not a favourite joke, but Peter Kay is probably my favourite. So everyone, that's it for our first episode of Transition TV. We'd like to thank you for tuning in. Just to remind you, there will be an episode of Transition TV every half term between now and July 2021. Please visit our website regularly and take part in our virtual open even if you haven't done so. Once again, thank you for all those parents and students who came to our on-site socially distance open evening, which was follow the Dallas Salon way. If you've got any questions, any comments, if you'd like shout outs, if it's your birthday and you wanted to mention you, if you want to send us in your favourite jokes, please do so at the email address below. If you want to come and visit us in the Dallas Salon Academy, you're more than welcome. There will be socially distanced and you will have to wear a face covering, but we can facilitate tours of the school for parents, carers and students. So, once again, thank you for tuning in and Semper Fidelis, always faithful.